What's going on Arcade Gamers? This week's Arcade Game Review is going to be on Barber Cut Light. This game is very popular and I believe it originated from Japan, but most of you guys have heard of it or maybe even played it before and uh, I've done videos on it in the past on my channel, which I'll leave in the description down below you guys can check out later if you haven't already. But I'm just going to be sharing my personal opinion on the machine and um, I've had this for a few months now and it's been very good to me. I actually own two of these. I give it a four out of five stars just because the idea behind it is so creative and I think it brings a whole nother variety to redemption games. And um, there's not real any problems with the game, but I have came across a few. Um, one of them is a hack I actually kind of invented myself, which, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out one of the videos in the description and that kind of shows how I do that. Second hack is kind of someone was using like a laser to cut the string, which can be very dangerous and there's not a lot of ways around that, but the way, uh, way I kind of fixed that was I just had the prize in an empty box so they had to redeem it after they won and I can check that they win it fairly. But besides that, you know, there's not really any problems with the machine it's all on payouts just like any other arcade game but um i'm going to be showing you guys inside barber cut light just because most of you haven't seen the settings so let's jump right in um, and just like any other game it has payouts so those three buttons to the side those three yellow buttons adjust the payout so zero is like a skill game there's no payout rates one, I believe, is 100 plays, so after 100 plays, it becomes a skill game. F is 1,000, I believe. I'll have to check that later, but... So after 1,000 plays, you have the chance to win. So, you know, um, coin A, B, and C are just counters for each, uh, each row, but they weren't working on my machine, right? But this is the bottom where the coins fall into the bin, and there's an extra opening for a dollar bill acceptor, although I don't really see that necessary. But um, overall, I definitely recommend if you are thinking about purchasing this game, it's a solid money maker at you know, your arcade or business. But um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to answer as many as I can. But uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll be posting next week. Thanks guys for watching.